So today I'm gonna to post a quick video on the steps that I took to replace the gear shift bushing on my 1962 Beetle. I know there's videos out there um, about the plastic gear shift bushing. This one's different, I'll show you here in a minute. But before that, let me go ahead and put out that I'm not a professional. This is a hobby of mine. I love uh, working on this car. And if you decide to go and purchase this part, I hope this video helps you out. So let me go show you what I got. So as you can see, I've already removed my gear shift rod here. And this is the original style right here, the plastic one. It comes with these rings here. But after a while, this is what happens, of course. I'm sure a lot of you have dealt with this plenty of times. Well, I came across this style here. And they say this is going to last you a lifetime but they want you to also purchase the installation kit i didn't feel like spending i don't know what it was 40 50 dollars on an installation kit if i'm only going to use it once so this is what i did in order to go ahead and properly install this gear shift bushing so right now i already wiped this down of course with the original you have to put a huge amount or glob of grease with this one you don't um, the website says you know a light coat is just fine so I already wiped it down cleaned it off and it's got a very light coat I'm gonna add a little more that's just because I feel a little safer with a little bit more grease on there but the first thing I'm gonna do is place the ring on the gear shift rod here once that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and run it back through the chassis. Okay, once I have that in there, I will go ahead and start recording again. Okay. See a bit. So, the gear shift rod is back inside the chassis. And as you can see, the ring is right there as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bushing with the wide part facing to the rear I am going to come back to the rear end of the chassis and place the gear shift bushing on the gear shift rod okay one step so I've tried other things okay don't make the same mistake I've made that's why I'm showing you this one. Just put some tape on here. I don't care if it's duct tape, just put it all the way to the end here, okay? It'll hold the gear shift bushing in place because you're gonna end up pushing the rod all the way forward anyways. If you're thinking of putting this back on, you're gonna go ahead and have a headache. It's not gonna allow you to push all the way forward to go ahead and seat this in properly. So, okay, just get some tape, wrap it around here, it doesn't have to be pretty, and then push it forward. So with the uh, rod all the way out, you'll be able to see, I'm able to guide the actual bushing in place. And look, right there, the tape is holding it in place. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the ring and set it in place on the uh, gear shift bushing. Okay, when setting the ring in place, what worked for me was I got a flat tip like this, and then I also got another little skinny flat tip like this to lift it up first with one hand with my left, and then with my dominant, with my right hand, I pushed one side onto the uh, groove. Once I, once it landed into the groove, I grabbed the big screwdriver and followed it all the way around by um, twisting it here at the front. And it would just rotate the entire uh, the ring 
and I would just uh, uh, place the ring inside the groove. And as you can see now, it is uh, set in place. So if you decide to purchase this gear shift bushing, I hope this video helps you with the installation process. Have a good day.